Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back again. This uh, lecture I am going to present uh, some algorithm so how to implement in, to, in, the, in the computer. Because earlier lecture we have described only uh, the formula. Now we have to implement this formula in the computer. Maybe uh, very simple if you are aware of, uh, if you know a little bit of MATLAB. So I do very basic MATLAB implementation and just uh, let me derive or let me describe how we can do the how we can implement in, in MATLAB so so this is something like algorithm of interpolation so we have derived uh, in earlier lectures. So we have, I have presented two type of method. The one was a uh, little bit more classical and another one is the moving least square. So in these two lectures, I will describe both uh, algorithm and then later I will compare both uh, approximation in the MATLAB code. So consider a domain a b so is it still 1d is a x min x max this may be like just take 0 to 1 yeah so you define x min is 0 x max is 1 this is our domain 0 to 1. And now I put the points, maybe regular or irregular, doesn't matter. Yeah. So, first of all, we have to give how many points we want. So, these are the parameters, let us say. We have to define, define before we write the program. And these parameters, uh, so I define at the n is maybe now 100, number of grids. So then if we know the n, so we can find how many grids we have. So we just take our delta x, for example, x max minus x mean by n, which is equal to 1 by 100. Now generate grids or i is equal to 1 to n, for example, x i is x mean plus i minus 1, so maybe you go up to n plus 1 point, or if you remove the boundary point, it doesn't matter, so n plus 1 times delta x. So now, so we finish, we end the loop. So here it looks like we have generated very regular point like in finite difference. But now if you want to have little bit uh, irregular point, what you can do, you can add some type of random number. 
some random number and just give the factor epsilon or plus minus epsilon. So either you choose on the left side little bit random number or you add on the right little bit random number so that you get very randomly distributed point that we will discuss in the implementation. So you remember the random number is uh, is always between 0 and 1. So you choose epsilon which is less than delta x. So epsilon you choose less than delta x much less than such that uh, your point is always in between here and here. And now so which function we want to reconstruct? The function u of u is equal to u of, for example, take any function arbitrary. I take the some type of quadratic function x square plus x plus 1. So our discrete points, discrete values. So if we know xi, then we can define for i is equal to 1 to n plus 1, u of i is equal to, I can write here, x i square plus x of i plus 1. So I have my discrete points. So our m we want to reconstruct u at points other than xi. So where to reconstruct? Suppose we want to reconstruct the point at this point here, somewhere here, somewhere here, somewhere here. Yeah. So I want to reconstruct the point in between, not exactly on the grid, anywhere in the in the between. So this means so we want to construct eight midpoints of grids, for example, for i is 1 to n, I want to derive my x nu of i is not exactly at i, for example, x min plus i minus half i minus half delta x. So I want to reconstruct the function in somewhere in middle of these grid points. So now we remember that our interpolation formula for example, if it is a first order, interpolation formula, u of maybe our new, we want to have a new point, u of new is equal to at some point i is equal to u of 
our interpolation formula which we have derived before u of mean int minus the formula was u of mean int minus x of mean int minus x nu of i u x. So this was our first order interpolation formula. So now what we need? So in order to find the reconstruct u at new point, so I denote it as a u nu. So we have to find the what is the minimum nearest point of this one. Once we know the nearest point, then we know the nearest function value. And then what we need is that the finally we, have, we need the derivative of ux. So at this new value. Yeah? So first of all, now what we need, we have to compute the derivative. So how to compute? So we have derived the formula. The formula was ux was summation of wj dx j square f or so here we have u u of x i j minus u of x x min divided by summation of so this was the formula w j d x j where our dxj was is so at point i here, for example, so d of xj was x ij minus x of mean int. So now what we have to find now from this grid point, we have to compute the derivative. In order to compute the derivative, what we need? We need first the neighbor list of all x new value. So once we know the neighbor list of, of all x new value, we can find which is the nearest, which is the closest neighbor. Once we know the closest neighbor of position, then we know the closest neighbor of the, the grid value the function value and then we just do the summation of this two and divide and we get ux yeah now let us start so this is our formula and now finding the neighbor inside edge so now you define, we define more that what is our edge. So here I define the edge is equal to 3.1 times delta x. Yeah. Suppose I have taken my edge is 3 times delta x. So if I am sitting here, I will be having 3 never here. Three neighbor here, but when I am sitting here, I may have only one neighbor here and three neighbor here, four neighbor I may have. So now for so now we run for all x new point for i is equal to one to n one. So first we initialize number of neighbor is zero. So let me put here. Let me continue this on this part. So remember we have
So these are our new point. So for for i is equal to one to n. So suppose n v is equal to zero. So this is the initialization. So now I have to find the neighbor of this point. This is the first. So then, which are the neighbor? These are all the star x for j is equal to one to. So I have n one. So the, the number of grid points. So n plus one. So what do I get? So I get uh, now I find the distance. So for example, distance between x of j minus x mu of i. So this is the distance between this point minus this point, this point minus this point, this point minus this point, this point minus this point. So I do very naive. I do not do any optimal neighbor searching. So if absolute value of distance less equal to h, yeah, if it is inside the interval, my number of neighbor increase from number of neighbor zero to one. So I increase by one. So I need the list. So list means the list of i is the j. For example, so this I give that the list of so n v is equal to my list of n v is equal to j int int. So this is one loop. Uh, this is so this is if condition. This is a loop. So for every i, so this is my neighbor. Yeah. So number of neighbor is n v is the total number of neighbor. So initialization of number of so once I know the number of neighbor, I have to find its minimal value. It's the nearest x min. So what is the x min? So my x min is so I search for all. I'm still in the big loop. So for now k is equal to 1 to n v. My distance is now x of list of k, which gives me the global index i, so which is x i j, it is in that symbol, minus x of i, I am still in the big i, uh, i loop here x new of i. So, so I have to minimize. So in order to find the minimum, either you give a simple, just let me write nicely if you write in other code also. So minimum of r is maybe some 10. Our minimum index is zero, I just initialize for k is equal to 1 to n b, our distance is x of list of k minus x of mean of i, if absolute value of distance less equal to r mean. So if this is a distance between these two is less than r mean, then I define so mean r or r mean r. Yeah. So r mean I redefine is absolute value of distance and my 
mean int will be list of k int. So, so this way I find my nearest point of this one. Either it will be this or it will be this. So I go through all neighbor point here and I look what is the smallest distance and finally I get the distance. I don't need to reorder. And now once we know the meaning uh, distance, then we can find our this uh, summation. So now let us define for k is equal to 1 to nb, what do we need? We need first our dx. So dx of k is equal to this guy here, x list of k minus x, sorry, yeah, this is x nu, because I have no any mu, so this is all x nu, x nu, now w of k is exponential of minus alpha, so I define also the alpha, which is uh, between 2 to 6, so give some positive number, times norm of, so it is just, uh, it is dx of k square, so anyway this will be positive as a square, and now my v of k is equal to, this is the difference between u, x, i, j, u of x, so list of k now, minus u of mean int, now we int. Then what we need now, we need now two sum. So first sum is, I think now I can remove, so still I'm in the big loop here, so I remove this at the moment. Maybe I can, so I, I just, I remove this here, because we know this formula. So we know this formula. And now what I do that, so I, I make the final loop here, justify S of X is zero, S of, x x is equal to 0, what do I need? So, our s of u x is 0. So, I define this as the, uh, the s of a, a, so s of x. So, for k is equal to 1 to number of neighbor, S of x is S of x plus W of k, which I have defined here, times, so this should be, uh, it should be here, this, I think it was a mistake. So dxj and here dx square. So let us define, initialize this as SXX. So SXX is equal to SXX. plus W of K times DX of K times DX of K, S U of X is S U of X plus this part W of K times DX of K times B of, this is B of K. Now we end the loop. Now, then finally, we end the big loop here. So this is our final interpolation formula. If you implement with the algorithm, let us write now once, 
we compute SXX, we compute USX, so this is just, and then finally you plug this UX of I is equal to this part divided by this part. Once you have already defined UX of I, and then what you put, you put U nu of I is equal to U mean in, which we have already computed here, minus X mean in, it is already from there, minus X nu of I, which is the beginning, times UX of I here. So this is I, yeah? Then this UX of I, you just put this value, and then we get the interpolation. Now, here what I have done in the beginning, I have started all i is equal to 1 to n, and then I go to all point, and then finally I will have reconstruction of the function at this red or this O value. So this is the first order, and then we can do in the same way. So if we have the second order, we go further, then we have to compute second order derivative. Yeah? So then I will, in the next lecture, I will do with the MLS. So this is the first order. So I will do with the moving least square approach, the second order approximation, and then after that, we do the numerical implementation. You remember that I have used the neighbor algorithm, searching algorithm, very lengthy process. This is not optimal. So what I have done for i is equal to 1 to n, for j is equal to so nb is equal to 0, 1 to n plus 1. So I have look. So here in in. So what do I have? So I have the never sorting algorithm of order of n square, which takes lots of time. So you can find other way. So there are many algorithms which where you can find the never of every point. So then you should try to those uh, algorithms. But now since we have this basic course. So I do not go into detail, but it is sufficient in order to implement in simple MATLAB code. So let us uh, continue to the next lecture of same idea for the uh, moving least square. So there I will do the second order approximation. Yeah. Okay. So we stop today. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.